Um, but also not just to give you a marketing spiel. I want to maybe share with you some inside background on what this car was, was to Toyota and what it means in the future for our company, especially in Europe. The real birth of this whole car for Toyota. In the past, we, we would try as a team to try to make all the, if you saw a spider chart, all the little ticks, we would tick off all the boxes, but in the end we would end up with a bit of an average product. But with this culture he's trying to instill, it's to make sure that we have a personality. So it's okay to compromise some things. Even if some of you don't like it or some customers don't like it, it's okay. But in the past, we tried to make everyone happy. That's the big change from this philosophy. To get to this point though, uh, we needed a new platform and that's one of the reasons C uh, CHR was a little bit late in the segment. We had a choice, bring it earlier with the old platform or wait a little bit and have an all new platform. Obviously with uh, talent, uh, in addition to uh, Kobasan's talent, if you have a great platform, you have a better chance of having a great car. And one designer told me, that, uh, a designer I know quite well over the years, he said, when we used to complain to him about why our designs were not so interesting, he said to me, you need good bones to get great design and to draw good art. So we need a TNGA to be the bones of the better bones of our new CHR to allow the designers the freedom to do something great, which we think they've done. Now, how to bring this to life? It's great to have a philosophy, but if you still have a design committee with 100 people making judgments and trying to think of everything is right or wrong with a product, you end up with a kind of an average outcome. And that's what's happened to us in the past. So basically, one of the other steps that Akio-san took, which CHR benefited from, is that we don't have those huge committees anymore. Probably about five or six people decide on a Toyota design now, uh, well below what it used to be, and this started with Lexus. Lexus started that trend, and you saw what's happened with Lexus design, and now that's been passed on to Toyota. And in the end, I would say, Fukuichi san and Akio Toyota, in the end, design, uh, say yes or no to design decisions. And they have said, sent some back, of course. This was the very first design sketch of CHR, and we were provided four different directions about three and a half years ago, and this is the one that we single-handedly, with one single-minded resolve, stuck to. And you can see how close it is even today, I'll try to walk you through that. But this is what we said we had to stay to, uh, together on in terms of a team at TMC. Now, in the past, because of the deep uh, body style, and the cutouts, and the grooves, and many technical issues, the problem with this is that the engineering side would have said to us in the past that this was too difficult. But the new culture is that design is king. So when design is king, engineering now has to learn how to make that. That's the big, big change with this product, and that has changed what we can do from now on. We've got 50,000 customer contracts well beyond our expectations. Uh, hybrid mix is we thought about 60 to 70 percent hybrid mix, but it's 80 percent hybrid mix. And probably the biggest surprise is that uh, extremely high grade mix. So actually what the dealers are reporting back to us is that we're conquesting a lot of uh, near premium brands with CHR. So it's quite a delight in terms of the dealers. You can talk to any of them. They're all screaming at us for more, which is a great problem for a manufacturer to have. Conquest, we're getting the early data in, you can see the Conquest data is very high, from 50s in Germany to 80 in Spain, and some of the Conquest car nameplates that we're hearing from our dealers is uh, Mini, BMW, uh, 3 Series, we're getting some small SUV crossover from premium brands, and I even heard of a Porsche yeah, from Austria last Friday, which was nice and interesting to hear. A lady in a Porsche KN traded in for a CHR, so... So, this is really remarkable, honestly speaking, for uh, our brand because basically we've been very good at, uh, at uh, you know, retention and less strong as a brand on Conquest until this model's come along. But we've got company. You know, this car, as uh, Fabio said, was really born for Europe, in Europe, 
But in fact, other regions started to like it. And now we have Japan with, I believe, 60,000 customer contracts. For, to put that in perspective, it became the third, uh, just a few hundred units below Prius in Japan sales. So CHR is extremely strong in terms of Japan. And USA, when they first saw this vehicle, thought it was too small and really wasn't, weren't that interested in it. But actually, since that time, they've increased their orders a couple of times. So we see that US is coming on as well, we have other regions. So this turned out to be a Europe-only product, but actually is expanding successfully in other parts of the market. So with the success, this car is produced in Turkey. Yes, yes. flat out. And um, do you have the capacity to meet this demand? No. Nope. No? <laughs> no, I'm talking to the production guys, and they're working uh, three shifts, six days a week, and uh, we want good quality, you know. So it's a waiting list? Uh, yeah, we have three to seven months, depending on the country. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.